Hello and welcome back to another developer interview. We're here with Holly Longdale in London. Yay! Holly. <laughs> we were just talking about this off, like, off the camera. What do you do here? Yeah, what, what's, what's your role? What do you do? I'm the executive producer of World of Warcraft and vice president. Vice president. Yeah, I, know, I love that. Sounds fancy. Um, so we're going to start off with a, an easy one. Uh, welcome to the UK. So, sorry about the weather. It was beautiful <laughs> on Sunday. Oh, uh, on Sunday, yeah. Like so, like Southern California, where it was beautiful every day. Uh, I mean, it's been raining. It rained there just while I was here. It rained there. There's no way. It's true. I don't believe it. It's a fact. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> how's the jet lag? Um, extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. It's awful, isn't it? Um, it's a thing. I now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the trips. Twice in a I month. I know. I know. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I. Can to it yeah um but more than happy to be here it's been really awesome to you know spend time with you yeah it's yeah. amazing to have you like in you and uh maria over just hanging out and playing the wall within and we're finally here we're finally in alpha yeah launching soon very soon hopefully um i can't comment on extremely that. soon probably by the time this is out who knows <laughs> we, <laughs> um, do. we are doing things a lot quicker now. oh yeah yeah don't worry it's <laughs> um which is actually, first question, look at that. Yeah. Uh, so how do you feel? So I guess kind of going back, we'll start, you know, Dragonflight. How do you feel like uh, the pacing and content of Dragonflight has been? It's been super quick. You know, we've had a bunch of stuff, which we'll go into a little bit more because I do, I am curious about certainly one thing. But uh, yeah, how do you feel about the pacing and how has this been content-wise for, for Dragonflight? Um, so it was the beginning of our journey on you know what does it mean we, we gave ourselves the target of the eight week patch cadence um with varying amounts and types of content in each one um it's certainly been a journey um we learned a lot with each one mm -hmm. um and so i think now we're going to be focused more on how do we make it sustainable for the team and how do we make it sustainable for our players yep. as well? Um, so we're taking everything we've learned um, and then looking at what we we now take steps to measure uh, expectations. We set goals. Um, so for something like Plunderstorm, we're like, okay, this is a bit crazy, a bit novel. Let's set some goals and then see how it performs. Uh, and it outperformed our exp expectations. So great. Yep. Uh, and we'll do the same thing with uh, Remix. Uh, for miss it's on the list <laughs> <laughs> so um it's been a learning process and i think you know we have to get a little sharper to help the team and also you know be able to create discoverable content there's plenty of stuff that was you know i didn't know that happened because mm -hmm. I, it wasn't surfaced yep. well enough um so you know on our journey uh we'll improve those things yeah i guess there's a pretty good segue to like there's so many different versions of WoW now. Like we yes. are, we have Season of Discovery, Cataclysm coming up. We've got um, obviously uh, Classic Era, Hardcore, uh, <laughs> Dragonflight, and now like every Alpha and Beta going at the moment. Um, how is it? How like is the team pretty excited about everything World of Warcraft related? Yes, Good. it's a lot as yeah. you point out. Um, but I think we're really fortunate in that we have healthy community to support it right so if we were in a position where we released something and nobody showed up for it um you know i think we'd make some adjustments yeah um but we are seeing our world of warcraft and its engagement um we're breaking all the rules um some people may have seen some interesting data that may or may not have been shared oh, by my that, boss. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the story is so much different and it really is listening. So when we talk about season of discovery, that's a direct reaction to what the community asked for. We looked at hardcore. It's something the community did themselves mm -hmm. and we supported it. Um, so we're now moving on to that in the modern game. So yep. delves is a reaction to that. Warbands is a reaction to that. So uh, follower dungeons as well. Yeah. <laughs> so we're starting to learn listen evaluate data we do a lot of that now we've 
broken our players down into segments that will seem obvious to you. Like if it's a casual, we've got a mid core, which is really mid core. Cool. Yeah, I know. Oh. It's really fun because there's some people that do casual and they, they, they think they're casual, but they're kind of not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and then all obviously to hardcore. And then when they play, is it, do they really invest right before the next expansion or are they invested when everything's released and towards at the end of the expansion into the next yeah. one. So we've got all this data and we realized a lot of things um, where we're always going to provide what the player expects. Our current active players, like what an expansion means, but we're also adding to it because we had underserved audiences, mm -hmm. which are the casuals and to some degree, uh, mid-core. <laughs> mid-core. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're a casual, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, me All too. Day. Yeah. I remember when we chatted before, we were like... We should we play together. Something. I think we should wish, do well, dynamic poetry writing as people walk by with their character names. I love that. Okay. There was actually, I think there was some new quests coming up, which actually referenced some poetry, which I think is fantastic. But, uh, <laughs> I'm here well, for it. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will interject a little question, actually. Yes. It, it would be nice to play together, but... <laughs> Oh, you're going to go into the EU <laughs> NA thing? Yeah. Is that, is, it, it's probably very much a technical hurdle as well as like latency and everything like that. I could imagine. Is it something you would like to do at some yes. point potentially? I think yes. Very. Um, now that you've, I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm already, I'm doing the producer thing while I'm going through my head like, yeah going through potential solutions for this because there's also um you know there's regulatory things too that we have to be very mindful of oh, yeah, of course, as yeah. we're global um so um still though you've now presented me with a problem and it's my inherent duty as producer to try and solve it confirmed it's happening <laughs> can't wait midnight it's gonna be region wide oh we're gonna, we're gonna be delving into quail for last Oh, together. together. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be glorious. Um, you raise a good point. <laughs> um, does the kind of going back to the kind of, you know, many versions of WoW, does mm -hmm. the release schedule of these games and the versions affect each other? So do you feel like that, you know, like let's say Cataclysm is coming out at the end of May, I believe. Like, would you kind of have like a, you know, a kind of leeway in regards to like, we don't want to put anything else out during that time? Is that kind of the thought process with that? Um. I think what you're saying is it should be, you would imagine, right? Yeah. I mean, it's been okay at the moment. There is a lot of wow going on. but it... <laughs> For you, I, we appreciate that, that for creators right now, it's, it's been... a nightmare. Yeah. Or a very <laughs> or profitable <vibrant>. time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, I think, it. yes, it is a lot. Um, we spent a lot of time thinking about it. So when we went to uh, BlizzCon, and we were talking about cataclysm, um, and at the same time, we announced Season of Discovery. That was very deliberate because we know um, historically cataclysm is a bit of a controversial one. Yep. Um, and we wanted anyone who felt like there wasn't going to be a home for them in Classic, that we wanted to deliver Season of Discovery as an option. Here's another home for you. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know... I don't like to say uh, too often that we're strategic, but we are. We care very much that players have somewhere to go. Um, so yes, when Cataclysm comes out um, and then we're heading into the War Within, we are at least fortunate that those audiences don't, we're not cannibalizing there. They're very unique, as I'm sure you know. The classic audience loves classic yep. and their communities. Um, and there isn't a lot of crossover with modern. So we're not uh, too concerned about that. It's more about we do want to make sure that our expansions and what we release has some some breathing room. Yeah. And so you have a minute <laughs> to <laughs> yeah. even be able to cover it all. So, yeah, we do think about it. Yeah. It's I challenging. I will say as a primarily like modern game player, Season of Discovery has been phenomenal it's, it's you're playing it oh yeah it's so good <laughs> i love it I, I i'm a big fan of vanilla anyway and just having vanilla with all that you know extra things going on and all the mystery behind it and and things like that which is a kind of a brilliant segue we will get into war within i do i did want to ask about 10 to 6 because that was such a thing on twitter <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was it was a crazy beginning of the year with the teasing and everything like that obviously um 
do you feel like the secret patch and keeping it a secret and all that kind of stuff kind of panned out the way you planned? Is that something nope. we could? <laughs> nope. All right. <laughs> no, because uh, <laughs> the teasing that we did, that wasn't a plan. Right. I was just like, you know, I'm not I'm not a big uh, tweeter. Mm -hmm. You tweet a lot, though. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. But I not. I mean, um. I'm certainly not very verbal. It was right. just, uh, you know, big eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it took on a life of its own. And then we overplayed it like right. way, uh, way too long. Lesson learned. I'm happy to say that, you know, we could have done better. Would it have been better to say nothing at all? Maybe. Uh, maybe there'll be someday we try that too. Yeah. I think we are, I'm, we are way more willing to take risks right now because yeah. a lot of them are working. Certainly they won't all work. Yeah. Um, and that, that's an example of one that, uh, you know, didn't yeah. go so great. I think it was, it was definitely a risk to not do anything with it. Like in regards to like announcement and things like that. I enjoyed it. I had a really good time. Fun oh, good. Um, obviously being time limited, you know, people think about, you know, um, where does it go after that? I know, I think the announcement was recently that it ends on April 30th. Could we see any sort of version of Plunderstorm Return or something similar, potentially? Sure. Yeah, I mean, one of the reasons why it's limited time is it was the design will not support a longer term. Right. So, you know, we've got Renown 40. When you're done, for some people, they're like, please don't ever let me, like, I don't want to play that again. Mm -hmm. I got my m mount. I'm good. Yeah. Um, but for a lot of people, that's a style for them to play now. They like it's a snackable piece of content yeah. um that they can enjoy. So we're gonna learn. We're gonna do a lot of, you know, retrospective on it um mm -hmm. and see uh, really measure the player behavior and what worked, what didn't. Yeah. And then, you know, I it's certainly not impossible to see it come back again. That's mm -hmm. kind of the point. Right? Yeah. Um that we can take these experiences, improve them, do a spin and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And I, I guess that's like a, an experimental team of sorts, right? I believe Orlando's involved with that and uh, a few it other used people. To be, now it's just real. It's a oh. live team. All right. They're just, they're it's not experimenting true. anymore. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, now it's, it is experiment. Um, and they've got a giant list of um, crazy things they want right. to do. Um, but yeah, it's, it's Jeremy's team. Orlando is on that team. Okay. Too. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, when you, Ask that team, you know, I yeah. spent time with that team and said, hey, your remit is go wackadoo. Yeah. And they're doing that. Yeah. I guess bringing it back to the War Within, is there is there surprises that we could see during the War Within? Yes. Yeah, definitely. You mean of the like, remix? Yeah, type, like obviously WoW show. remix. Yes. Yeah, things like that. If it's working, and you'll mm -hmm. see more of it. The receptional remix has been extremely right. good. I loved it. I thought it was, I, I looked at this and I'm like, I want this to be leveling. <laughs> so good. <laughs> did you get in on the PTR? Oh yeah, really? I was there. I did an extra evening stream because of the time difference and it was, uh, <laughs> it was fun. I loved it. I, really? Because in, in essence, it's, it's crummy time, but it's kind of put on its head and there's all this other things going on. And then at the end of the day, you still get a character out of it. You get that level 70 and it goes into, uh, into the live game. Yeah. Um, because part of your war band exactly yeah all that all those things you did during <laughs> pandaria are now gonna gonna be in there and i think yeah like experiments like that are exciting and i the reception was i didn't see a lot of negative at all I know. Like, and i just think that's phenomenal yeah, thunderstorm right so, i mean we knew i will say we knew yeah we knew that it was going to be polarizing but still fun is fun so uh for those people who fun to... <laughs> yeah we didn't and there really... were many i will add we didn't. We didn't really talk about War Within. I'm gonna do one more because we have to wrap it up. Apparently, well, I could be here all day talking about Wow. I love Wow. It's Great. The best. I love that. Yeah. Um, what are you most excited for in War Within? I feel like this expansion was made for me. Like we talked about being casual players. Oh yeah. Like delves is my jam. Follower dungeons and the level up. I, you know, I was one of those people. I would go through the level up. I don't mind soloing. I play with my husband a lot. Um, I also play with my stepson. And I just want to be able to spend my time with them and not navigate, you know, other people's uh, preferences and so on. And we're kind of goofy. Yeah. So being able to participate in the campaign and do dungeons with followers and not feel like I'm missing out on the story and the journey, um, that's magic to me because I'm more on the RP 
mm-hmm. casual side. Um, so this expansion really speaks to me. I also really love the high stakes do you have the benefit of having seen basically the map of all the cinematics? And I'm so, I know. <laughs> I'll give you my email. <laughs> <laughs> um, really excited. It really is high stakes. Um, there's a lot of really poignant things that are going to happen um, that I'm excited about. And I think Honest. hopefully you will be too. Amazing. Well, that was Holly Longdale in London. <laughs> and we chatted about Wolven very briefly. But thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Oh, no. And thank you so much for coming. And uh, very excited to be here. And hopefully we'll see you in games in some way. We'll try and solve that yeah, problem. We'll, I'll, see, well, I'll see you on the Alpha. You will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, all right. Thank you. Thank you.